Hey guys, I've had some of you ask me about my guitars and also some of you that didn't even know I played guitar. Uh, I started playing guitar when I was about 14, I think, but I, f I fell off it for like several years. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys in this video some of my guitars and I'm going to start. I don't even know if you guys can see them, but from here to there. I'll just start from right to left or left to right, depending on how you're looking at it. So just a second. This is my uh, PRS SVN Mark Holcomb. And has a, um, what was it? 26 and a half inch scale length. It's a pretty nice guitar. Really nice finish on it by PRS. Not my favorite guitar. I'll get to my favorite guitar at the end and I'll explain why. But this is a very, very nice guitar. Here is another PRS SVN SE, also with a very nice finish. Um, it has the PRS 8515 uh, humbuckers in there. It's an HH setup, also 26 and a half scale length. Uh, it's got the volume, three-way switch, tone with the uh, tone switch there. Um, <laughs> same with the uh, Mark Holcomb too, actually, uh, that I didn't explain very well. Um, honestly, I, I've i played this guitar once or twice in 2020. I got it kind of on an impulse buy because I kind of figured it would be somewhat rare later on. And I think it might be kind of rare, or at least not in production. But you can still get them on, like, reverb and stuff. I don't think you can get it brand new anymore. But let me grab that Mark Holcomb um, again quick. I'm just trying not to make this video too long. So this one has his signature um, Seymour Duncan, the... Um, the Alpha and Omega humbuckers, and same thing with the volume um, with the three-way switch and the tone switching there. And I don't play this guitar very much as well. It's got um, 24 frets, like I said earlier, uh, 26 and a half scale length. Um, PRS tuners, like kind of this really nice black, but not really black hardware. It's got the little dot inlays on the side too. And, you know, obviously PRS's signature bird inlays that are very nice, but I don't play these seven strings very much. Um, not because I don't like seven strings, it's just, um, I think I'm going to actually switch to Ibanez. Um, I had an Ibanez when I was, you know, younger. Like I said, when I started when I was 14, uh, I had an Ibanez seven string. That was my like favorite guitar. And it was my very first nice guitar. And that was kind of a sad story on how, how I don't have that anymore. So maybe if we reach 1 million subscribers, I'll let you guys know about that story. It was pretty sad. Um, you know, we're almost there. We got like 999,996 more subs to go. Then you guys will hear the story. But yeah, so that's that's this guitar, which is... Don't get me wrong, it's a really... Um, the PRS makes really nice guitars. It's got um, a satin finish on the neck, which I like better than the, the other SVN that had a gloss um, finish for the neck. And it did come with a blemish right 
here from shipping. I don't think that will show up, but it's got like a dent there, but really nice guitar. And I know this is awkward, like how I'm grabbing my guitars and stuff because they're right behind me. This is where I usually like play when, um, yeah, I mainly just play like sitting right here. I got my computer and stuff like over there. Uh, if you've stopped by any of my streams on Twitch, then you would kind of be able to tell where I was because I'm face the camera's facing that way on stream. Anyways, um, this is a Squire Telecaster. That I got about, I think, like 10 years ago or something. Um, I don't even know what's all what's all in this guitar. It's pretty old. Uh, I don't play this one as much. Um, but it is a pretty nice guitar. I don't, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this one. I'm trying to make sure I have like the whole guitar in frame here and I don't want to knock my mic. It's kind of cool. It's got the mirror pick guard and the lipstick um, single coil at the at the neck there. And I'm not even sure what's in the bridge. It's just a Squire. It was like a really cool practice guitar once I started playing again. And this one is a John 5 model. Um, Telecaster that he actually signed. Um, I got to meet him. Maybe a different um, different video for that story. I've had this for about 10 years also and it's really nice. It's just a Squire but it's got like the two humbuckers that are supposed to be like his DiMarzio deactivators. Sounds like a pretty good uh, guitar. Like um, Got like the neck through for the the strings and stuff. Um, same with that uh, squire also the other one, but this one's interesting. It's got the uh, like the humbucker selector right here, and it's like actually if you do it right, it just switches between both, and it does like this almost kind of kill switch noise, and then it's got just like the the tone and the or the volume and the tone right here. But yes, he did sign this, and. Yeah, it's a very cool guitar. I got to meet him. He was like really nice. Um, yeah, I've had this for a very, very long time. I do like the Telecaster body style. And I know that Ibanez just came out with kind of like their version of this body style that I'm pretty interested in. And yeah, I think that's about it for this guitar. I plan on like not playing this again. I'll probably like wipe off the fingerprints that are on it now. And then like maybe get like a some sort of display or like a wall hanging for it. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to move everything around and get like like a I don't know, like a fixed set. Like it's just like the mic and the camera right there. This is where I sit. I watch like you know, guitar videos here or like YouTube, uh, any, you know, uh, gaming videos, Sniper Wolf. <laughs> I watch a lot of more than I care to admit, like a lot of um, TikTok videos with her. Well, like not with her, but like, you know, on her channel. But this is my acoustic guitar, which was one of my favorite guitars for a long time. Like, I took this thing, like, everywhere with me. Drell and Stephanie, like, you know, I took this thing to, like, Burke in my van. Um, trying to get it in, into frame. I'm kind of, like, in an awkward spot right now. But this is a Jasmine by Takamine. I don't even know if that's a company anymore, honestly. Um, this is a pretty nice Jasmine. I got it, or acoustic, like, I got it for, like, $300, and it's an acoustic electric. But no, I used to take this thing with me like everywhere. Uh, yeah, uh, I uh, metal is my first love, but like playing guitar myself, like I like to, um, I like fingerstyle guitar a lot. 
Uh, but yeah, metal is my first love. But like as far as playing, I like like finger style guitar. Uh, I don't remember much about this guitar. But yeah, it's my first and only acoustic. So we'll move on to my favorite guitar. Yeah, this really is like awkward for me to like switch all these guitars. So I'm just sitting in my chair for, for me without a, uh, if the video camera isn't here, you know, I'm normally facing this way and then yeah, I can just like, you know, grab the guitars, you know, facing this way. But since you guys are over there, um, yeah, so I have to keep like turning and stuff. Okay. So this is my favorite guitar, an Ibanez um, AZ226. Uh, six string, 25 and a half scale length, and it's got the, it's got an HSS layout with the Seymour Duncan Hyperion humbucker here, and also, um, uh, the Seymour Duncan Hyperion, uh, in the middle here, and it, by the, uh, by the neck, and it's got, like, uh, go. Uh, go to locking tuners as you can see which are really nice and uh, I've had to explain this to some people so like these actually like twist to lock right and what happens is this is a really bad demonstration but you know you, you um, push the string through the hole like once it's straight and then you like lock it and there's like actually like this kind of like um like rod or something that pushes up against the string once it's like straight through and then it's not going to go anywhere you know unless i un like twist it to unlock it but you it's not even wound like once it literally like locks in there and it takes me like i don't know five minutes to change my strings uh so that's really nice i don't know why my nose is running right now but anyways um that's really a really nice feature about this car or car. I heard a car drove by, drive by. And it, uh, roasted maple fretboard, roasted maple neck, and just like the cutouts. In it's a very very light guitar. Like the cutouts in this guitar are really nice. Um, super light flat back, a flat black finish, and it's got also a goto tremolo bridge and this is like a five-way selector i usually you know have it in lead or um, my favorite is like the fourth position um you got your volume your tone and here's like another three or two eight, like selector all i know is like there's like nine different um options that you can have for like your tone and stuff but this is what i was talking about where I'm probably going to get rid of my PRS guitars. Uh, ever since I got this guitar, like, I don't play, like, any of the other ones at all. Like, there's... It probably showed, showed up on the video, like, how much dust is on, like, the other guitars, because I just don't play them. And I'll probably get rid of both my PRSs and then just keep my Telecasters. But... Uh, don't get me wrong, like, the PRS guitars are very, very nice, uh, and I'm not trying to throw shade at them or anything, but that Mark Holcomb, uh, PRS goes out of tune, like, really fast, like, I could be playing, like, I don't know, like, five different songs, and then I'll, like, I'll have to check the tuner, or, like, you can hear it, it just, like, goes out of tune, so I was like, okay, so there's something maybe off about some of the tuners that I got, the tuning heads, so, you know, I was looking at, like, um, locking tuners for that, too. Because even Mark Holcomb said, like, oh, you should get locking tuners for it, like, right away. That should be the first thing that you do. And I was like, oh, okay, well. And then I saw that other SVN uh, that I bought from a guitar shop, brand new, in Seattle. Uh, and then um, uh, it was the same issue with that one. It, it, like, goes out of tune extremely fast. Actually um faster than the mark holcomb one so i was like oh two prs's and then i looked it up online and like 
Some people have the issue, some people don't. But this guitar, this Ivan has, it like never goes out of tune. And I'm not just saying that because the um, the Squires, the Telecasters, they hardly ever go out of tune either. And obviously the 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 acoustic doesn't go out of tune very much. But yeah, uh, so far my experiences with PRS, they it goes out of tune like a lot where I like question it and I always have to check and I'm always uh, checking my tune. I'm pointing down here because my pedal board's down here and I'm not hooked up to anything right now. So, um, you know, my computer's over there and I'm not set up for recording yet, but you guys will be the first to know when I do. And I think that's it. I just wanted to show you guys my guitars, but this is for sure my favorite. I'll probably you know, trade in or sell the other, the PRS seven strings for like an Ibanez seven string. Um, and I like to use the Dunlop 1.4 uh, Jazz 3XLs. It's the pick of that I like to use. I wish I could play for you guys. Like, like I'm not awesome or anything. I'm just like your best, worst guitar player. Uh, but I will soon, okay? But I'm going to let you guys go because this video is like 16, 16 minutes long, okay? And this is an air horn. This is the loudest air horn I've ever bought. I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It was just kind of by me. Oh, it actually wasn't that loud for me. <laughs> Maybe my compressor stopped it. I wonder if it was loud for you guys. I don't know. It, it's really loud. Okay. Um, I'll let you guys go. I'll talk to you later.